How's it going everyone? My name is Asif and I'm back with another video. Um, as you can see in my last few videos, I've been drawing uh, Disney princesses from um, different movies. So today I'm going to be attempting Belle uh, from uh, Beauty and the Beast. So today I'm going to be trying something different. I'm going to be following uh, a tutorial uh, from a real Disney artist uh, from his channel. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun, so I can't wait to start fun to draw. So let's get started. Yeah, we always let's start get off started. with a really rough, loose sketch. This is basically just getting shapes down on paper so you have okay. a general idea of where things are gonna be. I'm starting with this basic circle shape. So mm -hmm. she's turned slightly away from us. The center line is gonna be a little bit off to one side. Okay, the center line is towards the bottom be of that circle. I'm going to draw another indication line. This is where her eyes are going to sit. And I always like starting any drawing by starting with the eyes. Oh, he's going really fast. <laughs> her eyes are a little bit of an almond shape. So I'm just going to really quickly drop that in. I can use the center line for my own reference to figure out where her nose is going to be between those two Wait. eyes and a little bit below this main circle. So I'm gonna quickly drop her nose in there. This is just my process. You might find one that works for you a little bit better. Oh my God, he's going too fast. A little bit of a smile. One of my favorite things about Belle is she's feels like she's kind of a bit of an outsider in her own town. And she learns this really important lesson during the film. No, wait. Is... <laughs> He's actually going really fast, so I can't cope with it. Okay, need to sharpen the pencil. Um, the lips. Okay, I'm ready. Not to judge a book by its cover. I'm using the center line as an indication as to where everything falls. She's going to need her lower jaw and cheek, but I'm using this circle, which is actually her forehead, naturally comes in a little bit towards the eyes. Wait. <laughs> uh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Okay. And you can see the chin falls right at that center line that I drew earlier. Then I can come in from this other angle, start to draw her jawline, which leads me straight to her ear. Ear lets me know where the earring is gonna go. And now that I have her face blocked in, I'm gonna go and figure out her hairline. Wait. Now I'm coming back to the eyes. I'm gonna have her looking off to the side. She's in her ball gown, so she has her hair up. But I'm going off hmm, of the same. I need to go back. I think everything is going wrong. Okay. 
Oh dear. shape that I've created here with the forehead and letting that dictate the shape of her bangs. So that was the middle. I'll that on the other side. And the hair goes This is going to be wrapping around hair. since she's turned a little bit away from you. This center line again I'm always using because I know her hair is up in a bun in the back of her head so I need to be able to follow that line. Trust me guys, he's where, going really fast. He's not actually going fast, but where that's gonna sit. And then that leads me right. Obviously he, this he's a professional Disney artist, so up. So this circle line that I had done leads me right into her neck and shoulder. And it's really hard to get to his level. <laughs> drape a little bit of this hair down. Maybe it's going back into a little bit of a curl. And then maybe a little bit, a little bit draping over her shoulder. And then we'll finish that so you can get a little bit of idea of that ball gown. That great sleeve that she has. So this is Belle. So I'm gonna go on to this next stage. I need to go back a bit, sorry mate. <sighs> You've gone really far ahead. I need to go really fast. Okay, this is Bill. <laughs> this is this is my Bill actually. It's not too bad actually. I think when I'm gonna remove all these lines, it's gonna look a lot better. Uh, so he's actually going over it, and I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna remove all the, you know, scrib scribbly lines. So. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it.
so I think I've done a pretty good job uh, in following his tutorials. So um, there's not much difference in his uh, final piece and mine. Um, even though he's a professional artist who's been, uh, you know, drawing for Disney for a couple of years. Um, and I'm just um, a random guy sitting at home and, you know, just practicing people's tutorials <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the rest of uh, her body and uh, do make some uh, details on her face and her dress um, through a reference picture that I've taken from uh, Google so let's get started <laughs>
I had a lot of fun drawing it. I really don't like this shiny bit with, you know, graphite pencils. You can't really see what's going on. See? But you don't get this um, with charcoal pencils. Anyway, um, it's not much different from uh, the Disney artist, is it? What do you think about it? I really, I really had fun, actually. Um, so yeah, let me know what you want me to draw next. So um, I hope you like this one and I'll draw whatever you want me to draw in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe guys. If you don't, you're gonna be punished and you're gonna be drawn next. So I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.